Yo, welcome back. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon and The Blackest Heart, both published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today I am going to be reviewing Rules of Prey by John Sanford. This is book number one in his massive, best-selling, epic mystery series, the Prey series, every novel has the word Prey in it, whether it's Rules of Prey, Winter Prey, uh, you know, you get the, you get it, you get the, you get the gist of it. In fact, I've read all the Prey books. Um, I've been collecting these since the early 90s. This came out in 1989. I think there were two or three Prey books out when I started collecting them, and I've got them all in hardcover. In fact, I will show you the entire series down here. <clears throat> there's all the prey books that i've got right there kind of in the corner there don't know how many it is but i mean in my vast library they're kind of down there in the corner right right where the cat's tail is there kind of anyway so this is a series i've been following for a long time and i love john sanford's writing and one of the things we're going to talk about is the difference between um, John Sanford's writing now and uh, his first book here. The rules, like I said, this is the first ever novel he ever wrote. And there's a fresh energy in this novel that you just don't get in his later novels. Like, the later novels are so professional and polished. I almost feel like some of the magic that was in these earlier novels is kind of lost in that, in, in, in just the fine-tuning of the craft of writing that's gone on here. I also say the same thing about Terry Brooks and the Shannara saga. I think the first handful of Shannara books, again, had that fresh energy of a, of a new writer figuring his way out in the world. And I think that that kind of stuff adds a certain magic to books that we don't really get in later volumes. Like if you saw my review of Ocean Prey, which was a great book, one of his best books, I still dig... His earlier Prey novels were so much more, just because I can feel the energy just pouring out of the author onto the page. But that's just, um, that's just me, uh, you know. Let's talk about the cover. 1989. This is a very 1980s-esque cover, you know. It's, got the, the, it's called The Rules of Prey. It's about a serial killer who has certain rules that he follows while he kills people and he writes them down and tags them to the murder victims. Now, um, you know, on a reread of this, it's always fun to read books from the 80s and 70s and 80s, the mystery novels where it's just everything is, the world was a different place back then. Like serial killers, we just don't have them anymore. Do you know why? Because there's too much technology and surveillance on everything. I mean, Back in 1989, there were nobody had cell phone cameras, nobody had cameras, there was not cameras on hardly anything. You could come and go as you please pretty much anywhere in the world. Nobody know, would know you were there. And that's the reason we don't have serial killers now, because they kill one or two people, well then they get caught. Because they're caught on videotape somewhere, they're, they're caught on a security camera somewhere. It's just, it's just impossible anymore to get away with these type of crimes over and over and over again because of technology, especially every single person has a camera. Just if, when you read the Ted Bundy uh, book, uh, no Stranger, uh, Strange, The Stranger Beside Me, this guy was snatching women right out of parking lots, busy parking lots, right out of busy um, uh, public parks. He would just snatch them up. And you go to a public park nowadays and everybody's taking selfies and cell phone videos and there's cameras on every street light. And it's just like they would have known who he was from the get-go. But back then they don't. And this is kind of one of the interesting things about this book is this guy can get away with serial killing because nobody's watching. There are no cameras everywhere in the streets of Minneapolis watching there like there are now today. So that's one of the things that's a kind of a, a broad difference between these. So this guy, this series, the Prey series is about a police officer and investigator named Lucas Davenport. He moonlights as a game designer, like a Dungeons and Dragons game designer, which is talked about extensively in the first bunch of books, but he kind of, 
But, uh, you know, John Sanford kind of gets away from that plot line in later books, which I miss, because one of the cool things about Lucas Davenport is he is a kind of a nerdy Dungeons & Dragons game designer. He de designs these role-playing games based off the Civil War, based off of World War I, based off of, you know, the Greek Wars, the Roman Wars, every, any war there's ever been, he's got a role-playing game he's designed off of it. Plus, he's done a lot of fantasy role-playing games. And that's what he moonlights as. He makes a lot of money on the side doing that. I respect that because I'm, I also work in law enforcement and I make money on the side with my novels. And so I always enjoyed the Lucas, I always enjoyed that angle of these books. Um, very prevalent in this book and the, and the later, and the handful of later volumes and the storyline of the, the side gaming quest. You kind of, yeah, yeah. But one of the reasons that I also like this is he uses the talents that he has creating those games to, and putting those worlds together and designing characters to, figure out who the serial killer is and the serial killer is a guy named mad dog so let's talk about mad dog mad dog is very deliberate in, in his killing and he comes up with these rules that he has to keep himself from not being caught and he pins a new rule to every dead body that he kills every person that he kills there's a dead body left behind and he pins a rule to it i think i'm explaining that right so one of the, let's go through a list of his rules. Serial killer rule. The rules of prey. Never kill anyone you know. Okay, that's pretty obvious. Never have a motive. Well, if you don't know them, you're not going to have a motive. Never follow a discernible pattern. So, this, so far the rules of prey are making sense. Um, never carry a weapon after it has been used. In other words, dump it. Um... Isolate yourself from random discovery. Beware of leaving physical evidence. Eh, some of these are obvious. Um, anyway, the, the rules of prayer, there's all, there are all sorts of them mentioned in this book, but they're real fun to read. And um, in this book, the serial killer early on gets uh, beaten. He tries to kill a woman, but the woman fights back and beats him almost to death with a baseball bat. So now he's got some problems. Now he looks like a dude that's been nearly beaten to death with a baseball bat. But anyway... He's also a lawyer, and he works closely with cops, and he works closely in the court system. And so he he's always sort of, with that knowledge that he's got, he's always one step ahead of the police. And I gotta tell you, this book is written, like I said, with a fresh energy of a first-time novelist. It is delightful. I love everything about it. It's what hooked me on the John Sanford Prey novels, is this book. And, I, you know, 30-some-odd books later, I'm still reading them every time they come out. And I, this has one of the best cat and mouse chase scenes in the history of mystery novels. It's not like uh, car chases and explosions, but it's just two guys. One guy tailing the other one through the city, trying to... And it's it just... It's a back-and-forth thing that is just intense. Super intense. Sold me on the book. Everything about this is dope. From the from the cheesy sort of late 80s cover all the way uh, to the story itself. And the writing is crisp. Reminds me a lot of early Dennis Lehane. Love it, love it. Let's give Rules of Prey a solid 9.5 out of 10. And this is where you want to start. Well, every Prey novel is a standalone mystery. But if you want to follow Lucas Davenport's life from when he was a young investigator till he's an older investigator. Here's 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 where to start. Rules of Prey. 9.5 out of 10. Great, great series. Can't recommend it enough.